This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV. And more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Cotswolds and Mr. Gumguard here. I've started Invisalign, everyone. It's all very exciting. More on that another time. However, today we are at the Cotswolds and I'm going to give you guys and girls a little update on the cottage. There's been some exciting developments here and I'm pleased to say the Carrera GT has landed here at the cottage. Anyway, so we're going to go inside first and foremost. We've got my Range Rover outside. A little bit dark there. And we're back in the room. Range Rover's outside along with the Carrera GT and another Porsche as well, which we'll tackle in a second. And there's some bollard chat as well. Really exciting bollard chat coming. You may well have seen a teaser just now. But we're gonna go around the house. We're gonna show you a couple of bits and bobs. Then we're gonna head outside for the main action. Front room then is relatively unchanged as to where it was before. There hasn't really been a huge amount that's happened in here. Not really anything that's gone on in here. However, coming through, you can see my lovely Wix kitchen, oi oi. More with the Wix coming soon outside. Uh, through here, it's all the same sort of thing, but actually in here, we have now got painted wall here. This horrible crummy conservatory is still a crummy conservatory. However, you'll see that it's now been painted in this dark gray color, which I think you'll agree looks a lot, lot better. And we've got some furnishings in here as well. We've also got some nonsense. We've got an aircon unit down there. Chaos, 50 quid off Amazon and a pile of rubble. Um, we have also got this table, which I banged on about on my Instagram. This is a solid teak table, it's 130 quid. I don't know if it's still on offer, but if it is, I'll leave the link below to that table, but it's cash. Um, and I think you'll agree though, it's starting to look like a proper little room out here. Outside the grass is a complete mess, but I'm doing something with Wix soon. We're gonna transform the garden. So that is coming to the channel. I'm actually trying to remember what I've even done to this place since the last video. Probably should have watched the last one back to work it out. Um, this room is still as it was. This blind is disgusting. Range Rover, hello! Let's go upstairs. Because work has started in the flat through here. Ugh. Get down here, you swine. Up in there, oh, I don't know if you can see. Can't afford to get the ladder down. Uh, but work has started in there to turn uh, in that room into a cinema room with a semi-permanent type set of stairs to come down here. All very exciting. We've got a bed that's going in here after it gets redecorated next week because this bed here is going next door and I've got a lovely new bed from Oliver and Sons coming in, a nice king size, because Anthony complained this, Jesus wept. That was nearly the end of me, live on camera, everyone. Always make sure you've, uh, you've done up your flap properly. Anthony complained this bed wasn't big enough. Now it probably would be big enough if we didn't have two dogs in the bed with us. So that is coming out, go next door and we're getting a big boy put in here. Uh, decorating has started in this room as well. We've got a lovely gray color going on behind the wall there. This wall's still to be done. Uh, we're gonna turn those cabinets into something funky. We've got chest of drawers going in there. Uh, and this kind of detritus is all being tidied up. Fun and games. I'm scared of that now. In here is still, in here really, still crap. Um, there is a sofa bed type thing going in here. It's getting turned into a proper little office. Uh, but that is my flexi spot desk. And we've all seen that, it goes up and down. It's a very, very cool desk. And above the conservatory there, you can see that it has been painted, it looks a lot better. And that flat roof is gonna get something funky done with it as well. Bathroom, still bathroom, nothing going on here. Shorts, chaos, and some pants, Wee. Right, let's run down then, because you don't really care about much of that. What you care about is the garage situation. And there's some exciting bollard talk and some Carrera GT talk. Quick one. I actually got USB plugs put in around the house, which is very fun. Let's go outside then, let's go outside. Rangy is here. This is probably the last appearance of my V8 Range Rover on the channel. This car 
by the time this video goes out will pretty much be gone i'm trading it in for the car that i originally specced there's gonna be a lot of range rover collection videos coming to the channel because mahmoud is now driving around in a very similar car to this as well it's all going to get very confusing so only the most astute ones amongst you will be able to uh, retain what is actually going on with the range rover situation on this channel but this v8 is going and my diesel is going to get collected uh, next week so probably the last uh, visit from this car on my channel now Exciting as that is, we've got this that's gone in. My electric gates are in, which I think I've showed you guys and girls before, with a lovely new post box there off Amazon, 16 pounds, wonderful. Uh, these electric gates have gone in and I've since had the hinges sprayed so they don't look as disastrous as they once did. But we've got this uh, little UFO type looking thing in the floor, which is actually really exciting. Call me simple, but I love stuff like this. So. This little parking bay here is for, you know, when I'm coming and going, whatever the car is I've driven to the console in, that will go there. So whatever the daily is, whatever's been brought here, usually the Polestar actually, because I plug it in, in there and it kind of comes out here. But if I want to leave anything here that I don't want nicked or I leave it here long term, I'll go away on holiday or whatever, I can actually press a little button on this fob here. And hey presto, we've got this that comes out of the ground. The gate's obviously fully shut and that post comes out, meaning that whatever is in the driveway cannot be nicked. I know it's a little bit belt and braces, um, but this is what's called an IntelliPost. I'll leave the link below to that, but that is a new product. That's got a really cool painted on it and it's just come to market. So those are now available to order nationwide and i'll leave the link below to that but that is a really really cool solution just put that on your keys and off you go and you can also control it from your phone because it's actually bluetooth controlled super secure and there's very clever tech and patents that go into that so that is sick excuse me for being a little bit excited about a bollard but these sorts of things really tickle my pickle speaking of pickle tickling inside the garage we have now got a new arrival not a new arrival you've already seen it you saw it in bits at reading recently but obviously got my 997 gt3 rs here but my carrera gt has made the trip to the cotswolds it is here and it's going to get some miles out here i've taken the liberty of rolling up the cover for showing you guys and girls but she's here she's here it's all very very cool and i just want to show you something because i'm feeling very pleased with myself that is not a bad combo, if I do say so myself. That is a very, very good combo. Those boxes on the right there need to go. I need to go and put them up in the little storage hatch up there before you'll tell me off. Uh, but I'm very, very happy with that. I don't think there's a better analog manual Porsche garage. Maybe if that was a four litre, but no sugar daddies here. Right, let's have a little look. And obviously, it goes without saying, where is it? Where are you? Where have you gone? Where's my C-Tech? Oh, it's over here. It's plugged into a SeaTech MXS10 down there. It's a bit of a mess in here, sorry. And we've also got my RS plugged into a CS1. Now, I have been posting recently on my pages little deals that have been coming up every now and again on Amazon um, with SeaTech chargers. They do pop up every now and again, with sort of 40, 50% off. So you'll have to stay tuned. Uh, to my social media for that if you want to get a SeaTech charger at a good, good price. But they are absolute essentials. And it just means when I'm not here, they're ready to go and they start and the whole thing's being kept conditioned. I actually put a new battery in the CGT whilst everything was out. I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna bite the bullet, spend 500 quid or whatever it was on a new battery. Um, so I wanna look after it and CTEC is definitely the way forward on that. And very quickly, if you want a mortgage, the guys that did the mortgage on this place, they're called My Mortgage Pro. I'll leave their details below, but their Instagram is on the screen there, but they did the mortgage on this place and me being self-employed in a million and one different ways, uh, they were able to navigate that. So they are really good guys, even if you don't wanna borrow just yet but you want to get an idea of what you can afford what the loan to value will be what your deposit will need to be what the stand duty will be how much you'll get lent give the guys there a shout they are great great guys and as i say they help me into this and they're helping me with another as we speak all in all though for a little setup i don't think that is too bad for the price i paid for this place and the utility that i'm now getting out of it the little bits that i've done so far i'm very very happy there are still bits to do as i say uh, loft stuff is going on very very shortly at some point i will do a little studio vibe above the garage the garden is about to get done and i'm going to do something with SeaTech about the charging system in here as well because there's an outdated uh, charger inside 
that garage at the moment but but SeaTech are going to put their wonderful uh, wall box charger in there at some point as well so there's all sorts of bits and bobs to come including some hi-fi some home tech inside the house and some security system talk coming as well to the channel. I'm gonna show you guys and girls how I keep this place secure and some cool cameras that are coming very soon, which I'll show you very shortly. So I'm very happy with it so far. I know it's not the sort of house you probably usually find a Crow GT in, um, but for me to have the Crow GT out of London and in a place where I can just roll it out and get it going on some punchy roads, I'm very, very happy with that. So all is well. Very, very excited to get this out. I might go for a little breeze now, but but you'll have to wait because that drive video, post to service drive video will be coming very soon to the channel. And of course, I don't want to spoil you and give you it all in one video. You know this channel by now. I milk absolutely everything. So driving that will be coming very soon. GoPros on absolutely every surface and plane available. So that's coming soon. For now then, thank you very much for watching. Do of course stay tuned for more with the cottage, more with the CGT and more with my Invisalign journey. I actually posted something about it on my Instagram the other day and it's not actually a paid deal. I'm not getting paid to do Invisalign, uh, but I posted something up on it thinking people won't care about this. I had so many DMs about it, it was ridiculous. So I'm doing a load of stuff to my teeth, which I will bore you all with down the line. So you've got loads of exciting stuff to look forward to. For now then, please subscribe and I'll see you all very, very soon. Get in the comments and I'll reply to a load of you right now. Bye. Now then, as I said at the beginning of the video, this video was brought to you by the one and only Squarespace. If you've ever thought of setting up a website, whether or not that's for a passion or for a business, Squarespace is the perfect place to do that. And they've got loads of tools that make your life a lot easier and make your website beautiful and effective. They've got loads of different tools that just make your life that bit easier when trying to build a website, particularly if you've never done it before. Squarespace's tools will guide you right through that. So even things like mobile devices, most people view their websites on mobile devices. These these days, but Squarespace enable you to have a desktop and mobile variant of your website very, very easily. And if you're building a website for business, things like subscription models and email campaigns, those sorts of things that are crucial to running an e-commerce business, Squarespace have got in the bag nice and easy with a load of tools that are available at your disposal to build into your website. Another key thing for your website may well be membership areas. Again, that's something Squarespace have thought of and those tools are built into the tool, enabling you to build that into your website nice and easily. There's loads of different designs to choose from and you can really get your creative juices flowing with all the various creatives that Squarespace have at your disposal. As I said before, if you use the link below, you'll get 10% off your first website and domain with Squarespace. That the link is right there below. Hitting that will not only enable you to build a beautiful website at a great price, but it also supports the channel as well. So thank you very much for each of you that have clicked on that. And as always, when you build a website, I wanna see it. So keep sending me those messages on Instagram DM because I wanna see them all coming in and I wanna see what you're creating. Crack on and enjoy.